Hello everyone, I am Abdul Sahira and I am a student of ADEC. And now how did I uh, join the CODES in Ostarder? Is I had to, uh, for a subject for my uh, uh, school, I had to join the Hackomation competition. And that's, um, in the Hackomation journey, I learned about some of the stuff, but some things were still unfamiliar for me and then I came across Miss Julie which who recommended me to join the Code as a starter and all the things were really interesting for me so I did not hesitate and just joined it just to uh, gain some more knowledge about uh, these things and it is all re really interesting so uh, what did I build for my final project is uh, the theme was home automation. So I built a house with something that you can uh, automatically control by a Bluetooth app. And uh, so what do what I have first is uh, here a RFID chip with a LCD uh, display, and when you want to enter the house. Uh, if you have the right card, the green light will go on and the gate will be open. And if you have the wrong card, uh, also a buzzer will give us a sound, uh, which indicates that you are the right person entering the house. And the buzzer is um, placed in the house so the people in the house can hear uh, if a, if someone is entering the house and. Um, if the wrong card is placed to the RFID chip, the red light goes on and uh, another sound on the buzzer goes off so all the gate doesn't open. So also the people in the house can hear that someone is trying to uh, enter but they can't enter. So they can take action. Um, what I also have is that you can control your light and the door, the windows open and close with Bluetooth. The doors and the windows open and close uh, with the servo motors from 0 to 90 degrees and then goes back. The lights, I have two lights, blue LED lights. Um, what I also have is a shield here. So my balcony here doesn't have a roof so you can enjoy the air just in your balcony. <coughs> But what, what also can happen is when the rain comes, if you are like sitting there, you can get wet. So what I have is a rain sensor that's on the top of my house. So when the rain, when it begins to rain, the rain sensor detects the rain and then gives the signal to a servo which is attached here to this shield and then the servo opens the shield, which will then protect a, a like getting wet here and what I one thing I also have is a water pump like a little waterfall which you can control with the Bluetooth app on and off pump yes that's all in my house so that was all that was all I told what I, which I have uh, made for my house and now I will uh, talk about the experiences I have uh, I've had. Um, like uh, there were a lot of like problems building my project, but I won't I, I won't like put them in the bad experience category because I've learned from all the problems. Like solving the problem was the best experience, and. Um, uh, yes, like problems in coding, um, maybe construction problems, but like when you got, got the problem, then you learned about like how you can solve them. So like I didn't have any bad experience, like, yeah. While my uh, journey building my final project, this house, my sisters, both sisters really got interested in this project and then help me building my uh, bo both projects, my house and my playground. Um, they helped me building the house and with all the decorations here and then 
it turned out into a very fantastic uh, project. <laughs> um, I experienced this uh, journey as really fantastic, interesting, um, learningful um, journey, and I would like definitely uh, recommend uh, someone, like anybody, to join this Cadets in a Starter. Thank you. For my final project, I also had to make something for the smart city. So I decided to make a playground, uh, an amusement park also called. Um, so what I have in the amusement park is a little dragon ride here. It's uh, like, a, I call it the pendulum ride because it moves like back and forward with a servo, 0, 180 degrees. Uh, next, I have a Ferris wheel. Like It moves, it like turns. Uh, continuously uh, with my Bluetooth controlled app and that's uh, that's attached to a gear DC motor and uh, else uh, here I have a, a teacup right because I have like teacups on it so I call it a teacup right and this one also moves with a gear DC motor and like moves continuously but when it moves the teacups also uh, turns and, and I also added a, a small uh, waterfall in it to make it like seems a little bit beautiful. <laughs> and uh, yes, that was all uh, for the amusement park that I made.